Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. Uh, in today's video, we will learn about before update flow that is just same as the before uh, update trigger that we write in Apex. Okay, so uh, let me tell you today's scenario. So today we are going to work on opportunity. Okay, uh, in opportunity, we have a field that I have created that is a custom field which is owner assignment date and that is a date time field. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to create a before update flow which will work when the opportunity owner changes. So if the opportunity owner changes, it will take the current date time and it will add it here so that we will know uh, what time and on what date the opportunity owner really did changed okay or the opportunity was assigned to uh, someone else okay so this is today's scenario for that let's start creating a flow let's click on create a new flow and I have a very basic thing to mention here as well uh, about the before update or before save flows that I will cover here uh, because uh, in real time in my office space as well I have seen a lot of people do that mistake uh, unknowingly because they are not aware about the fact uh, so we will just talk about that here as well uh, let's take a record to your flow Now the first question is how to choose if that is a before update or after update flow. So first we will select our object opportunity and now we want to use the before update. Okay, So first we will choose a record is updated and then here before setting the conditions let me talk about these two options uh, we tend to forget these two options and their values so these are not just about fast field update and action and related records these are also about before and after actions so when you choose this fast field update this will work as a before a creation and before updation uh, flow okay uh, as the description suggests as well update fields on the record that triggered the flow to run the high performance flow runs before the record is saved to the database okay so this will run before the uh, record creation or if you are choosing a uh, record is updated then this will run before the record is updated and the changes are sent to the database okay so the fast field update is not only just an option to update the fields on the record that triggered the flow that is also an option to run this flow before the transition is sent to the database okay so we will choose this now let's go back to the entry conditions and here we want to see if the owner id is changed if the opportunity owner is changed then only uh, we have to do the changes so for that let's search the owner id and here in operator as well we have a new option which is is changed so what we can do is we can add the field name is changed and we can add true here so if the owner id is changed that means the opportunity owner uh, is changed now so this flow will work and this flow will work before the uh, new owner will be updated to the database okay now let's click on done and now what we will do is we will take an assignment element and here we will write assign values to owner assignment date and here we will take the record dot owner assignment date and in this we will add the flow dot current date time which is the current date and time uh, on which the flow will run okay so we will click on done now that is the second most common thing that uh, all of us tend to forget or most of us tend to forget that is uh, now what we will do just think about it we have added the record triggered flow which will work on opportunity when the opportunity will be updated uh, we have set the records assigned owner date value here with the assignment now uh, to commit this change to the database what we will do we will choose the update record element right but here we go wrong we actually do not need the update or record element here so just by assigning the value in the field in the record variable record global variable we have already done the changes because this is a before update flow now what that means is 
this flow will run before the change before the owner is updated to the database so for now the owner is in this record global variable okay and now what we are doing is in this record global variable we are adding the owner assignment date as well now when this flow will run and after that this record this same record global variable will go to the database and it will commit all the changes to the database but now because we have added owner assignment date to this uh, record variable as well this date will be automatically updated to the database as well we do not need to add any other element we do not need to add any update record element as well we just have to add an assignment element and add the value in the record global variable now we will save it let's name it opportunity before update and activate it and check if it is working fine let's go to our opportunity refresh it and i will change the user the owner to my name Let's choose this one okay and I will click on change the owner okay uh, once again I will just show you uh, for now this field owner assignment date is blank and if our flow worked fine then this field should change let's add my name choose this one and click on change owner the owner is changed let's go down and see if we have the date yes now we have the owner assignment date as well which is today's date with the flow's current date time okay so the flow worked fine now let's go to our flow in this flow as you can see we did not add any create record any update record any other element we have just added uh, the condition here if the owner changed equals to true and we have added an assignment element in which we are adding the value in the record global variable okay so that is the uh, main common thing that we tend to forget what we do is we check this update record element and here uh, either we add our uh, record variable or we add the value here as well uh, like this equals to flow dot current date time but actually this is not needed the work is done only by the assignment element now we can do one more thing in this example that uh, what if the owner changes the owner assignment date from here they can uh, change it right we have the edit button here so what we can do it that is a bit different from what we create flows uh, what we'll do is we'll click we'll quickly create a validation rule on opportunity let's go Let's click on validation rule and create a new one. Let's name it owner assignment validation rule. So what we will check is uh, this will run, this will show an error if the owner assignment date is changed but the owner is same. Okay, so we have two conditions here. First at the end here and we will add is changed now here we will add our field which is owner assignment date and we will insert so this will check if the owner assignment date is changed but the owner id is same and how we will check if the owner id is same we will check the prior value of the owner id let's add a field here prior value of owner id is same as the current value of owner id okay so if this is the case uh, let's check the syntax the syntax is correct so now what happens here is it will check if the owner assignment date is changed and the prior value of owner id is equals to the current value of owner id that means the owner assignment date has changed but the owner id is same then it will show an error which will be oops still the same okay let's show it on the field itself owner assignment date and let's save it 
Now let's check our validation rule. What we will do is we will try changing the owner assignment date manually from here. Um, let's go here and let's change the date to 5 and let's try and save it. See, it shows an error which is, oops, looks like the owner right, owner is still the same. Okay, so our validation rule is working fine. So that is how I know that was not in the flow example. That was not included in that. But that is a scenario as well that if you're working on this field with flow, someone can uh, potentially change the value from here manually as well. So we need to see on all the scenarios and work according to that. So what we will do is we will add in validation rule so no one can change the value manually from here, okay? So that was it, that was today's example. I hope you found this useful. I hope you uh, found out this new technique that we don't really need the update record element or the create record element if we are using the uh, before update or before save flow, okay? That was it, that was today's example. And I'll see you super soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care and keep learning.